Amen, 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 amen. This is Dr. Pauline Oracle coming to you from the Oracle Television Network. I want to introduce a very, very, uh, I don't know how to call it, but I want to start on a program or on a series that I am calling This Wickedness Must End. I call it This Wickedness Must End because there is wickedness all over the world. But I want us to start by defining Number one, what is wickedness? Number two, who are these perpetrators of wickedness? It's going to be a series that will take us maybe several weeks. I just want to start on this series because I have realized we have so much wickedness in this world. Things that we never even used to think can happen. Families rising against families. Because in this program, I am also going to, to tackle a household wickedness. Because that is the worst uh, people say there's no witchcraft, but the worst uh, form of witchcraft is household wickedness. But before we get to household wickedness, because I will show you that the people that are your worst enemies, I will show you from the word of God, they are people from your own household. They are the people that have got your data. They are the people that know when you were born, how you were born, your ups and downs. They are the inside circle of your life. And those are the people that can either make you or break you. But I want to start this series by starting to describe what is wickedness. Remember we are saying this wickedness must end. I don't know where you're watching me from, but I would like you to call somebody. Tell them Dr. Pauline Oracle is on the Oracle Television Network. She is on our Facebook page. She is defining wickedness. This wickedness must end. I don't know who you're seated next to, but I'd like to tell you to tell somebody this wickedness must end because we must end the wickedness of the wicked. So what is wickedness? I want to start by reading Psalm 7 verse number 9. The Bible says, Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish after the, it's until the wickedness of the wicked end that you as a righteous person shall be established. The, I'm reading from the Amplified Version and the Bible says, Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked end or come to an end, but establish uncompromisingly the righteous, those who are upright, and in harmony with you, for you, who try the hearts and the emotions and the thinking powers are righteous to God. Another version that is King James says, Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous God tries the hearts and reigns. Now, I want us to look at the meaning of the word wickedness. Because when you look at wickedness, it is actually beyond sin. Nizaidi Yamakosa. So wickedness, number one, I want us to describe it a bit with the dictionary uh, meaning. Because one of the things that my, my mentor in ministry, my bishop taught me, is how to define things when you're teaching people, because my father was a teacher. So he taught me from his, his teaching perspective. And I always see him doing this. When he starts ministering, he will pick a word and he will define it. So that is how I want to start because I am proudly a daughter of Bishop Dr. Mark Karyuki. And those of you that have listened to him, you know he's a wonderful, powerful teacher of the word. I have taken the genes of my father because you can take my topics, you can take my preaching and preach it verbatim because I can explain something to the core. Now, the dictionary de description of the word wickedness is it can mean something evil or somebody evil. So when we talk about the wickedness of the wicked to end, we are saying this evil must end. The evil of the evildoers must end. This wickedness must end. What am I saying? The evils of the evildoers in your life must come to an end. The evil of the evildoers in your life must come to an end. When we talk about wickedness, what are we talking about? It can also mean sin. This sin must end. This sin of the unrighteous, the wicked must end. What does it also mean? Wickedness can also mean extreme immolarity. Like we are seeing in the world. We have never seen such immolarity like we are seeing on this world today. Men are marrying men, even in public. Women are marrying women, even in public. When we were growing up, that was actually a riddle. It was a riddle. Nikama kitendawili. 
Sasa hivi kimetoka kuwa kitendawili wickedness has increased in the world. We are seeing so many wickedness, so much wickedness happening. So wickedness can also mean extreme immorality. Extreme immorality. And the Bible says in Psalms 45 verse number 7, you love righteousness and hate wickedness. God hates wickedness. And it is wickedness that can cause God to bring judgment to the world very, very quickly. Actually, I am not sure that these are not the tail end of the last days. Every sign that we are seeing on the world or in the world today, they are all signs of the last days. If you read your Bible well, you can hear of, you, you can see the Bible talks about wars in the last days, people rising against one another. And there are so many things that is exactly what is happening in the world. I mean, things that we cannot understand. The Bible says, 45 verse number 7 of Psalms, You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. I want you to know that God hates wickedness. Wickedness is something that God hates with a passion. And that is why I am saying this wickedness against your life, this wickedness in your family must stop. For you to move on, that's what we have read in the, in the Psalms we started with. Psalms chapter number 7 verse number 9. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish. For you as a righteous person to be established, the wickedness of the wicked in your life must end. So I have come on this television network using this platform and telling somebody this wickedness in your place of work must end. If there is wickedness in your place of work, it is going to be very difficult for you to rise even in ranks. Because when the wicked arise, the righteous are put down. So for the righteous to arise, this wickedness must end. I have come to tell somebody through this television network, this wickedness must end. And wickedness is something that God hates. So who is a wicked person? We have defined what wickedness is. And wickedness is not propagated by animals. Wickedness is not propagated by animals. Wickedness is propagated by a personality called the wicked. And that is why the Bible says the wickedness of the wicked must stop. For you to move on in your marriage, the wickedness of this strange woman must stop. For you to move on in your career, the wickedness of that evil boss must stop. So I have come to tell somebody, rise up and address wickedness. Tell the wickedness at your place of work. It is either I move on or wickedness must stop. I have come to encourage somebody and I have come to tell somebody, you have gone through so much in life because there is wickedness in your, in, in your environment. There is wickedness in your place of work, in the business place. I have come to tell a businessman or a businesswoman, witchcraft is real. That is wickedness. In the business place, wickedness is real. Witchcraft is real. So I have come to tell my fellow business people, wickedness in the place of business must stop. I said wickedness in the marketplace must stop. We cannot stagnate in one person, in one place, and the wicked are still rising. I have come to help somebody, and I have come to tell you, the wickedness of witches and sorcerers in the marketplace must stop. How will it stop? Suffer a witch not to live. So if there is wickedness being propagated in your area of marketplace by a witch, we are coming to tell that witch, this wickedness must stop. Come on now. I am not very polite today because I am tired of the wickedness of the wicked. And I have come to tell the wicked, if you are watching me on television and you are a wicked around my marketplace, around my domain in business, this wickedness must stop. Suffer not a witch to live. So if you are a witch around my domain, if you are a witch around my marketplace, if you are a witch that runs naked around my business, this wickedness must stop. And it will stop with you going to the grave because suffer not a witch to live. So if you are a wicked person around my marketplace, around where I operate, around our church, running around and saying, over my dead body with this ministry rise, may you die for the ministry to rise. Why? Suffer not a witch to live. I am not very polite today. 
I have not come to tell a woman or to tell somebody, this is woman without excuse. No, this is not woman without excuse. I have put on another heart and I have come in the anointing of the word of God to tell the wickedness of the wicked. This wickedness must stop. So whatever area of your life that somebody has propagated wickedness, I don't know which area of your life you are experiencing wickedness. Are you operating a business and it is stagnant? Personally, I am in business. I am in the marketplace. And I realize there is so much wickedness in the marketplace. I go to China and bring my commodities. Somebody will just go somewhere, not even out of the country, bring the same commodity, come and bring to me unnecessary competition. I have come to tell people in the business world, you must rise up and say, this wickedness must stop. It's either I excel or you go down because this is wickedness. And I have come to say wickedness must stop. This wickedness must stop. Who is a wicked person? A wicked person is a person whose morals are continually evil. I want you to know when wickedness rises around where you are, the personality that is propagating that wickedness is a person that is completely evil. That is why I came up with this topic of telling somebody this wickedness must end. This immoral person, this person that have, has very evil morals around you must either go down for me to excel because the Psalms we read tells us Wickedness must end for you as a righteous person to be able to move on. Who is an, a wicked person? He is a person who continually thinks doing evil to others. Who is a wicked person? A wicked person that propagates wickedness is a person that continually thinks of doing evil to others. Who is a wicked person? He is a person who is morally very evil sinful and very bad. A wicked person is beyond a sinner. A wicked person is beyond every bad thing you would expect because their mind is full of wickedness. Their mind is full of evil thoughts. He is someone who is mischievous, who has no good intentions about your life. So I have come to tell somebody, this wickedness must end. I came to tell somebody, this wickedness must end. Who is a wicked person? He is a person who is, number one, mischievous, without good intentions towards others. So if you are around somebody, or if you are around somebody who is a, a wicked person, they will always look for mistakes. They will always look out for bad things about you. A wicked person is a person who will rejoice when you go down. So I have come to say this wickedness must end. Who is a wicked person? A wicked person is someone who does very unpleasant things to people with an intention to cause them harm. So remember we have described what is wickedness. Now I am describing so that you may know the people you live around, the people you, I mean, you talk to, the people that you are able to, you know, interact with, are they wicked? So I have come to describe the wickedness. I've also come to describe what is, who is a wicked person so that you may be able to know how do you relate with people around you? Are the people around you wicked? If you have a person around you whose, you, whose intentions you think are evil intentions, I have come to say wickedness must stop. Who is a wicked person? He is a person, he, he is someone who does bad evil and morally bad things to people with an intention to cause them harm, to cause them pain, to cause them misery, to cause them destruction. If you are around somewhere where there is just a personality, any intention yake to, he's not up to any good. He is a wicked person. I have come to announce from this platform of Oracle Television Network, the wickedness of the wicked must stop. And when the wickedness of the wicked stops, Wicked, I mean, the wicked themselves must go down. Because the purpose of a wicked person, he is an enemy that you do not know, or he's an enemy that you could be knowing. A wicked person is either a known or an unknown enemy. Come on, 
I said a wicked person is either a known or an unknown enemy. So that is why I came to say, I came to say to somebody, this wickedness must stop. How do we silence the wicked? Suffer not a witch to live. So if you allow a wicked person around your domain, around where you are, that means you will stop living. You will go down as a exile. I have refused. I will not allow the wicked around me to be there to destroy my business, to destroy the work of my hands as I go down. So I have come to announce to somebody, this wickedness must end. Who is a wicked person? You are telling me we have enemies around us all over. I am not talking about an ordinary enemy. I am talking about a wicked enemy. A wicked enemy looks at a pregnant woman and says, mm, singe toka too. I have seen them even in churches. Don't tell me me I'm born again. I am holy. You know where I am. There is no wickedness. I am telling you if there is wickedness in the world, it is in the church. They curse you in the name of the Lord. They will say, I will curse you in the name of the Lord. One time, I walked a journey with a friend. And she lost a baby who was almost at the point of birth. And when some of the people in the church, look at what I'm doing, in the church, heard that she had lost a baby, they said, see, she would have died together with that baby of hers. That is wickedness of the highest order. Instead of looking at this woman and saying, oh, you have lost a baby. May the Lord console you. They asked a question. That is beyond wickedness. That is why I have come to say, around you, 500 meters around where you are, this wickedness must stop. What is Pastor Pauline saying? I am saying there are enemies who are either known or unknown to you. Maybe you are telling me, you know me, I'm a pastor. I am a woman of God. Me, I have no enemies. Listen to what the Bible says. Psalm 68, verse number one. Let God arise, his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. If God has got enemies, who are you? Who is Pastor Pauline to say that everybody in Kenya loves me? I know not all of you love me. I know many of you talk so many things about me. But I have come to tell somebody, if you are a wicked person around me, this wickedness must stop. And when the, wicked no, when the wickedness stops, it will not leave you standing. I will either take you to the grave or you will have to flee from my vicinity or stop this wickedness. You have no other options. It's either you go down to the grave, either you stop this wickedness or you flee from my mambo ni matatu. Tuliambua iwana president juzi. Mambo ni hayo, matatu. That is the same option I am giving you. Because I cannot continue going down as the wicked are rising up. This wickedness must stop. Am I talking to somebody? I want you to know that wickedness can live with you continually. First Samuel 18 verse 29. The Bible says, I'm reading in King James Version. First Samuel 18 verse number 29. The Bible says, and yet, and yet, the more afraid of David, the more afraid of David and Saul became David's enemy continually. I want you to know a wicked person that has purpose that you must go down. They are an enemy that pursues you with anger and they can purpose. I want to pursue you continually. That is why I am saying around me, wickedness must end. I said around me, wickedness must end. The Bible says Saul became David's uh, enemy continually. That means he followed David wickedly. He followed, and David didn't do anything. David was just praised by the women. But Saul realized, I have got to raise wickedness against David. And the Bible says Saul still became more afraid of him and he remained his enemy the rest of his days. How can you live with an enemy the rest of your days? How can you live in life with an enemy and uh, he's pursuing you every day? I have come to announce on this Oracle Television Network. I know it's a national pro I know it's a national platform. And I have come to announce wherever the wicked are, they must cease for you to continue. Wickedness of the wicked must stop for you to continue in life in Jesus' name. God did not create man as an instrument of wickedness. But wickedness came through this world through the fall of man. 
So because wickedness came, we are not going to condone and we are not going to allow it to live with us. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 37, verse number one, the Bible says, do not fret because of the evildoers or because of the wicked. So even the Bible knows the wicked are there. So the Bible says, do not fear them. Do not fret for them. That is why I came to silence the voice of the wicked and to say, this wickedness must end. The Bible says, do not fear. Fret not when you see them prosper. Why? They are prospering through wicked ways. There is an end. The Bible continues to say, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. Wicked people are workers of iniquity. I said, wicked people are workers of iniquity. What is iniquity? Iniquity is beyond sin. Iniquity is repeated sin. So the Bible says that that means wicked people or evildoers are equated to, uh, to, to workers of iniquity. So the Bible says, do not fear, do not fret when the workers of iniquity are rising up because there is an end. The Bible says in verse number two, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as a green herb. So we are saying this wickedness must end. Every worker of iniquity around you, I have come to decree to them, they must go down for you to arise. So if you are a wicked person around me and you have been wishing Pastor Pauline dead, the wickedness of the wicked must go down. So the wickedness of the wicked must stop. To fret means to have worries. So the Bible is telling us, fret not for the wicked. Fret not for the evildoers. Because wickedness is the work of evildoers. Or evildoers are also wicked people. Do not be dis dissatisfied with the small and unnecessary things. They are just doing their things. They may think they are everlasting. But they are called I mean, they are called the wicked. Their prosperity is ungodly. It is for a very short time. If they do not see evil in their days, their children will reap evil in their days. So I have come to say this wickedness must stop. I don't know who is listening to me. I don't know who is looking at me right now. I don't know who has gone through the wickedness of the wicked. So the wickedness, wickedness is an active destructive principle fashioned by Satan against God and humanity or against God's people and humanity or against God and humanity. Wickedness is an active destructive principle fashioned by Satan against God and humanity. So who are the workers of wickedness? We have described who are, I mean, who is a wicked person, but now who are the workers of wickedness? Number one stargazers. They are called wise men. Those are the workers of iniquity that are recorded in the Bible. They are people that monitor your star. They are the people that keep calling you. You are in Nairobi and somebody will call you from, let me give my own ex my ex the example of my village, Subukia, and they will keep asking you, Orioho. those are workers of iniquity. That is the wicked that is calling to monitor you. Because I am saying, who are the workers of wickedness? They are number one, stargazers. Number two, they are witches and wizards. Number three, they are magicians. The, the work of the wicked day and night is to make sure that your life is in misery. So that is why I came up with this topic. The wickedness of the wicked must stop. The wicked must stop their work upon your life. If you are comfortable with the wicked, Nisawa too. You know, some of you wake up in the morning and the wicked has done so many things upon your life. You slept without any sickness. You woke up feeling like there's an arrow that has pierced your heart. That is the wickedness of the wicked. And you say, Nisawa too. So be it. Kama mungu aliamua nigonjeke, nigonjeke. Ah, ah. That is the work of the wickedness. You need to arise and to say, let the wickedness of the wicked stop in my life. Let the wickedness of the wicked stop in my life. I have come to tell somebody that is surrounded by wickedness, that is surrounded by the wicked in their place of work. I can give you examples. I know of a woman in this nation that was working as a very great woman in one of the biggest companies. And she tells me, or she told us one day with the oracle, she woke up one morning to go to her place of work. And she found on the seat that she sits to work, she found some uh, 
incisions and my cuttings on the seat. And inside the, the, the cuttings, there was something that was put in there. Since that day, she started having problems with her legs. To date, as I am talking to you, she cannot walk. And you tell me that is normal. That is called the work of the wicked. So I have come to tell you, around your place of work, if you're listening to me, when you go to that office on Monday, I want you to go there and say, this wickedness must stop. Pray against every wicked person. They will start leaving that company one by one for you to be able to excel. As I am talking to you right now, that woman gave us a testimony with, a, not a testimony, that story with the oracle when she came for us to pray for her. And she told us since that day, her legs be start, started becoming heavy. Today she can't even rise up from her bed. She has been fired from her place of work because she's not beneficial to the company. But that is as a result, not because she couldn't perform, it's as a result of the wicked. And that is why I looked at what people are going through. And I realized this wickedness must end. Just the other day, when after we moved to Nairobi, somebody came to see me in the office. And this is what they told me. I, 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 I buried my firstborn son. And during the burial, I am saying the wickedness of the wicked must stop. This woman tells me, I buried my son or my child. I can't remember whether, it, whether it's a boy or a girl. And on the burial day, one of the aunties, my father, my God, I told you part of the worst wickedness is household wickedness. And she tells me, one of the aunties told me, umezika huyu, huyu tundi wa kwanza. I will make sure in this family you hold no baby. Now, as she came to see me, the second baby that she had was going through the same, same signs the first son had. And you tell me there is no wickedness? You tell me there is no witchcraft? How do you expect to, to, to tell that kind of an auntie? This wickedness must end. I have come to tell somebody that is watching me right now. The wickedness around your family, household wickedness must end. This woman was telling me that in tears. And she told me, Pastor Pauline, right now I cannot handle anything. I have to stay at home and stay with this baby because she's so showing the same, same uh, signs like the firstborn started. I stayed in hospital with this baby, but he died. Why? There is a wicked auntie that said, you will not hold a baby in this family. I have come to say, the wickedness of the wicked must end. I said the wickedness must of the wicked must end. Some of the stories we listen to when we are doing deliverance to people, those of you that are against deliverance, that keep saying we are shouting, we are doing gimmicks. Wickedness is real. I said wickedness is real. The stories we hear, even people talking, demons talking in people. I am her mother. I said she will never prosper. The wickedness of the wicked must be silenced in Jesus' name. I came to tell somebody that is listening to me, wherever you're listening to me from, I came to tell somebody, this wickedness must end. I came to tell somebody, that wickedness around your family must end. Now listen. The wicked will go as far as spending money to make sure that you go down. I said the wickedness of the wicked must end because the wicked must will even go out of their way to spend money. Numbers chapter number 22 verse number 1 to 7. I want to read it slowly by slowly so that you can understand what I am talking about. The Bible says, now, this is Balaam and Balak, and the Bible says, now come and put a curse on these people because they are too powerful. You don't have to be poor for the wicked to afflict you. These ones are being afflicted by the wicked because they are powerful. The Bible says, now come and put a curse on these people. Why? Because they are too mighty. Perhaps then I will be able to defeat them and drive them out of Nairobi. Perhaps I will be able to defeat them and drive them out of Nakuru. Perhaps I will be able to defeat them and drive them from their place of work and just stop them from working in this company. I have come to tell somebody, no one will drive you out of this place. The wickedness of the wicked in your place of work must end. Pastor Pauline says, 
the wickedness of the wicked must end. And the Bible continues to say in verse number 7, the elders of Moab and the Midian left taking with them the fee for divination. That means a wicked person will even spend money from their pockets for you to be to go down. The Bible says that the elders of Moab, I mean, the, the elders of Moab and Midian left and they took with them a fee for divination. So the person that is a wicked person around you, I said the person that is a wicked person around you, does not go to the wicked altars empty-handed. But you, you want to come to the altar of the living God empty-handed. You can never win that battle. But I have come to say, stop this wickedness of the wicked. The wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus' mighty name. So we see in this story of Balak and Balaam that uh, the wicked can go to any extent to make sure they can even pay a price for you. And that is why many of us keep going to churches, going to churches, going to churches, giving 310, giving sacrifices, giving what, and yet we are not getting results for what we did. Why? They are still wicked around us. It's until you bring to a stop the operations of the wicked. It's until you stand with a stand and say, the wickedness of the wicked must stop around my life. You do not be the wicked. They are up to no good in your life. The wicked are up to scattering your marriage. I am not talking about that personality that is going around with your husband. I am talking about the wickedness of the wicked. And I am saying the wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus' name. So I have come to tell somebody that is listening to me, that the wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus' mighty name. And that is why the Bible says in the, in the book of uh, Numbers chapter 22 from verse number 6, now come put a curse on these people because they are number one too powerful. So when you become powerful in life, there is a wicked person that is monitoring your power. There is, they are monitoring even your estate and they say, over my dead body will this woman go on. Over my dead body will this man go on. That is why I come in the volumes of the book of the word of God and tell you the wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus' mighty name. Personally, I am tired of the wickedness of the wicked. They will publicize evil about you on Facebook because they are just wicked, not because you have done anything. Some of them will scandalize you. They are called the wicked. You take one step, and instead of them rejoicing, they are workers of iniquity. So they will say everything wrong about you. I have come to say the wickedness of the wicked must stop. How can somebody feel bad because the oracle has relocated to Nairobi? How can you start talking bad about the oracle simply because he has relocated to Nairobi? I have come to stop you. And I have come to say the wickedness of the wicked, that wicked tongue that you're using to scandalize the man of God, to scandalize men of God in this nation. I have come to silence you and I have come in the volumes of the book and I have come to say the wickedness of the wicked must stop. There are some of these men of God in this nation. They are off limits. The more badly you talk about them, the more you publicize them. The more you scandalize them, the more the scandals work for them. The more you publicize evil about them, the more people know. Even when you write bad about the oracle, somebody will browse on our page and they want to know who is this oracle. They will just be met with miracles, signs and wonders. Sometimes back they said something scandalous about us in Nakuru. And the following Sunday, the church filled up. Because people came to see this pastor who is being told he's chasing people for not giving offerings. The wickedness of the wicked must stop. 
I have come to tell somebody, a man of God that is going through wickedness, a man of God that is being scandalized by the wicked, I have come to advise the man of God, arise on that altar because you are the priest on that altar. It is priest versus priest. If there's an evil priest that is rising against your ministry, just stand on that altar and say, as the man of God on this ministry, I command the wickedness of the wicked to stop. And because that altar hears your name, the God that you worship in that, in, that, um, in that altar is going to answer your prayers. I have come to say the wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus' mighty name. Balaam and Balak, come and put a curse on these people. That means the wicked, the work of the wicked is to put curses on the lives of people. The work of the wicked is to tell Balaam, Balak, Balaam, come and put a curse on these people. Paradventure, I will be able to move them out of this place. I have come to tell somebody who the wicked have been working day and night to try and remove you from your location. I have come to tell them the wickedness of the wicked must stop. I have come in this platform of the Oracle Television Network to say the wickedness of the wicked must stop. Every uh, sacrifice they have given on an evil altar to stop you as a righteous person. I have come to withdraw that sacrifice and I have come to say the wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus' name. I want you to know the workers of wickedness have no mercy. They will not stop at anything until they see you go down. Some of them are even wishing you dead, especially the workers of wickedness against your marriage. I have come to say the wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus' mighty name. I have come to tell somebody, the wicked will not stop at anything. They have no mercy at all. If you read that uh, verse that we have just read in the book of Numbers, they continued and continued and gave more sacrifices, raised more altars, raised more altars, until it reached a point they said, whoever God has blessed cannot be cast. I have come to announce the wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus' mighty name. You, I want you to realize that the wicked can use so much of their resources just to make sure that you go down. I have come to say, keep using your resources, but I am not going down. I said, keep using your resources, but you will still keep, keep seeing me rising up in Jesus' mighty name. Now, Balaam tells Balak, I want you to make seven more altars. Then he continued making altars, and making an altar is not cheap. Make an altar. An altar cannot operate without a sacrifice. So make an altar, raise an altar. Then on top of raising an altar, put sacrifices on it until I defeat these people. But I have come to tell somebody and I have come to help you arise and say this wickedness must stop. I said arise and say this wickedness must stop. Now this tells us the workers of iniquity the wickedness of the wicked. The wicked will even go out of their way to make sure they silence you. I have come to tell them, we will silence them before they silence you. That is why I am saying, and I call this series, the wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus' mighty name. I have come to declare to somebody, it does not matter how much the wicked have used. I have come to say, what God has blessed, no man can curse. I have come to say the wickedness of Balaam must end in Jesus' name. The voice of the wicked in your society, the voice of the wicked in your ministry, they have said he will go down. I am withdrawing my tithes. I am withdrawing my givings. I have come to tell you. Come on. I said I have come to tell you, man of God, they may have withdrawn everything. But the goodness is, they did not withdraw what God has deposited in you. Therefore, as their wickedness ends, your ministry will rise again. I said, as the wickedness of the wicked stops, your ministry must rise again in Jesus' mighty name. If you are a genuine called man of God and you have a call of God in you, the Lord will fight your battles. I said, the Lord will fight your battles. Why? The wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, for the children of Israel, they built altars after altars, altars after altars. But finally, there was a voice from heaven that says, these ones, even if I try to cast them out, 
Yaani hata nikijaribu kuwalaani, hawalaaniki. Kwa sababu gani? God is on your side. Come on, I come to, I came to tell somebody God is on your side. Come on, I came to tell somebody God will fight your battles. Come on, I came to tell somebody the wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus mighty name. I am here to prophesy to somebody instead of a curse, God is going to give you a blessing. I said instead of a curse, may God give you a blessing in Jesus mighty name. Why? The wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus mighty name. Now I want us to look at something very very interesting. In this series, we are going to look at the wicked pole 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 until you understand what I am talking about. The characteristics of the wicked. The characteristics of the wicked. Number 1. Proverbs chapter number 4. Verse number 16 to 17. Proverbs chapter number 4, verse number 16 to 17. We are talking about the wickedness of the wicked. And the Bible says, For they do not sleep un unless they have done evil. My God! There are people that will not sleep. Yani they lack sleep. Whereas there is a promise of the Lord that he giveth his, his uh, beloved perfect sleep. Them they don't sleep. They will toss around their beds, toss around right left. Wana lala wakiangalia huku wakifikiria vile watakufanyia maovu. Nimekuja kutangaza. I have come to announce the wickedness of the wicked must stop. Whether it is household wickedness, whether it is wickedness at your place of work, whatever kind of wickedness that the enemy has subjected you to, I have come to announce the wickedness of the wicked must stop. The Bible says, for they do not sleep until they have done evil and their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. Jesus, how? How now? How can you not sleep because you want Pastor Pauline to fall? I am not falling. I have come to announce every wickedness of the wicked must stop around my life. Now the Bible says for they do not sleep. He for they do not sleep unless they have done evil and their sleep is withdrawn from them. Yaani unakosa usingizi ukitafuta vile utaua Pastor Pauline. Ukitafuta vile utamaliza biashara yangu. Nimekuja kukutangazia the wickedness of the wicked. If I be a woman of God called by a genuine anointing serving under the anointing of my father bishop dr makarioki you will not kill me the wickedness of the wicked must stop the bible says they do not sleep until they have done evil and their sleep is taken away from them unless they make someone fall if you have been having sleepless nights trying to make me fall i am sorry as you try to make me fall i am going to rise up as you go down in Jesus name whatever you have wished me whether you have wished me to go down i am going to take you down i mean god is going to take you down as i rise why the bible says you at yagulali it's not me this is king james inasema for they do not sleep let me look for another translation give me one minute that is proverbs 4:16 proverbs chapter number 4 verse number 16 What am tafte translation nyingine? Hey, listen to this. Amplified says, for they cannot sleep unless they have caused trouble or vexation. Their sleep is taken away unless they have caused somebody to fall. Yani haulali. Inasema, for they cannot sleep un unless they have caused trouble. Yani the workers of iniquity, the workers of wickedness are trouble makers. The Bible says for they cannot sleep unless they have caused trouble or vexation their sleep is taken away unless they have caused somebody to fall. Yaani unatumia usingizi wako unatumia masaa yako ya kulala ukijaribu kuleta mwingine chini. I have come to say you will go down as I rise up. Now listen to what NIV says for they cannot rest. We are talking about the workers of iniquity. We are talking about the wicked. The Bible says they cannot rest until hey, yani ni kumaanisha anaweza tumia masaa yake yote 12 usiku wote because the Bible says for they cannot rest until they do evil. Yani unakosa usingizi ukitaka kunifanyia mabaya. I have come to announce the wickedness of the wicked must stop. 
And as the wickedness stops, you are the one that will go down as I go up. And the Bible continues to say in NIV, they are robbed of sleep until they make someone stumble. If you read verse number 17, the Bible says, they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. That means the wicked are violent people. They will not eat bread of any mkate ya kawaida. Ni lazima watumie kisu ama watumie upanga diyo wapate mkate wakula. So the Bible says, they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Hey! What kind of people, what kind of power are we dealing with? We are dealing with the power of the wicked. The wickedness of the wicked must end. Higher. Listen to what the Bible says. That is Proverbs 4, 16 and 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence, and they will not sleep until you go down. The workers of wickedness or evil are number one enemies of progress. Now listen, we are exposing the characteristics of the wicked. We are exposing the characteristics of this wicked. We started by looking what is wickedness. We also came to look at who are the workers of wickedness. Now we are looking at the characteristics of the wicked, the characteristic of these people that we are calling workers of wickedness. The workers of wickedness are or evil are number one enemies of progress. They will not allow you to make a step ahead. They will not allow you to move on. They want you to stagnate in life forever. And that is why many of us, our stories are stories of stagnation. They hate it when you succeed. Yani ukija umwambie tuka testimony kamoja hivi. That is why. It's not everybody you share your testimonies with. It is not everyone you talk about your life with. Because around some of the people that you're talking to, some of them, the Bible calls them the wicked. So when you share about your dreams with the wicked, when I'm, when I'm going to be exposing the wickedness of the wicked household wickedness, I am going to tell you the story of Joseph. Joseph did not know. That sharing his dreams with his family is going to expose him to even so being sold as a slave. Because that is conspiracy of household wickedness. So I want you to know that the wickedness of the wicked or the wicked, they are enemies of progress. They will not allow you to move on in life in Jesus mighty name. I have come to tell you the wickedness of the wicked must stop for you to be able to move on. They hate it when you succeed. The wicked hate it when you succeed. Yani they look at you and they see you moving forward. They see you driving a new vehicle and they start posting on Facebook. Uyu sasa natumia madawa ya kulevia. I have seen somebody. This man has just pros prospered and prospered and prospered out of giving, out of his tithes in church, out of his faithfulness and of course his hard work. He started driving this vehicle, building houses and they started pointing fingers. The work of the wickedness is to point fingers because they are enemies of progress. And just the other day, listen to this. Somebody called a friend. I am telling you, these workers of wickedness, they are, I mean, they are agents of anti-progress. And they call a friend of ours. And they asked, who you are a call? I am talking about the workers of iniquity and their characteristics. They hate progress. They asked a friend of ours, who you oracle, how can he rise from Nakuru and be able to own a building in Nairobi? Is he, is he Illuminati? I also want to pose a question. Do you want to say that God never gives good things to people? Some mutu wakinuka tukidowa ni Illuminati. This building does not belong to the oracle. It was bought by the people in Nairobi. It is M-O-D Nairobi. It is not Francis Oracle. It is M-O-D Nairobi. And even if it was the Oracles, so what? We have done a credible job in, Nair in Akuru. So uh, you see, the work of wickedness or the work of the wicked people is to their anti-progress powers. How do you use your credit? Yani tuku gossip Oracle. Mutu ambaye, he's, yani, there are some people I told you they are off limits. The more you talk about them, the more God prospers them. So they are anti-progress powers. 
the work the the, the wicked wicked the wicked people they are anti progress powers they hate you when you succeed the bible says they do not sleep until they make you fall so wewe endelea kukosa usingizi lakini sianguki come on i came to speak to somebody who has been frustrated by the wickedness of the wicked and i came to encourage you god is on your side Come on I said God is on your side. The protection of God is on your side. God will make sure you don't fall. God will make sure when the wicked wishes you evil, when the wicked wish you evil, God is wishing you well. And I have come to tell somebody, Balaam is not going to succeed to be with you. I said Balaam is not going to succeed to be with you. The more they talk about you, the more they publicize you, the more you will keep rising. Why? The wickedness of the wicked must stop in Jesus name. I feel like there's somebody that is watching me. You're actually watching me in tears. I listen to so many stories in the office when people say they want to come and see the oracle, they want to come and see us. We listen to so many and you realize wickedness is real in the world. I am telling you wickedness is real in the world. I listen to stories of so many people and I listen to things that people talk and I realize wickedness is real. How can somebody tell you that my own husband has slept with my sister and now my sister is pregnant? What do you call that? That is not sin, it is not even iniquity, it is beyond all that. That is called wickedness. And I have come to say I have come to tell somebody the wickedness of the wicked must stop. I saw it on the internet. And a lady was saying, I took my sister to come and just help me in the house. And she got pregnant for my husband. And I even got took her to hospital. I didn't know all this time. This one I saw it on uh, I think on 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 the on the internet. I saw it on I think YouTube. And the lady says, my sister came and I stayed with her and I even helped her go to hospital because i thought she has gotten pregnant of another man so after i think 6 months or almost 1 year i asked her what do you think about the father of this baby and she according to the story the sister told her but the father of this baby is your husband what do you call that isn't that wickedness isn't that wickedness of the highest order that is why i'm saying wickedness is real and this wickedness must stop in jesus mighty name the wicked don't be deceived they can never be your friends and if they have pretended to be your friends they are only befriending you so that they can be able to work yani they can be able to affect you from inside now listen to what the bible says do not be deceived the wicked can never be your friend they work day and night for your downfall you need to know how to counter attack their evil now listen to psalms psalms 37 verse number 12 i think david went through so much wickedness and the bible says psalm 37 verse number 12 the wicked plots against the just and gnashes his teeth gnashes him with his teeth i am saying this the wicked hey the bible says they plot against you the bible says the wicked plots against the just and gnashes him with the teeth yani wicked anakuangalia hivi anasikia tu kukukula na meno yani wivu ya wicked is beyond wivu ubaya wao is beyond ubaya and the bible says the wicked plots against the just and gnashes at him with his teeth and the bible says the lord laughs at him for he sees his day is coming that is verse number 13 of proverbs no psalms 37 verse number 12 The Bible says the weak the work of the wicked is to keep plotting against you. They keep plotting against you. And the Bible says they do not sleep until they have done evil and their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. So do not be cheated that the uh, the, the the wicked can become your friends. The wicked plots against you every day and the Bible records and says in Psalms 37:12 the wicked plots against the just and gnashes his teeth gnashes at him with his teeth yani huyu wicked anakuangalia anasikia kukukula na meno kwa sababu gani his work is only to propagate wickedness i have come to tell somebody the wickedness of the wicked must stop in your life in Jesus name uh, the wicked people hate goodness 
even when it benefits them. Imagine. Even when you do something good and it is going to benefit the wicked, simply because it is not them who did it, they will still hate it. So the wickedness of the wicked, they will it has to stop in Jesus name. So do not be disappointed when they get angry at your progress because part of that progress most likely could maybe it was idea but kwa sababu their heart is full of evil their heart is full of wickedness they can never ever appreciate anything i want you to know do not even try to befriend the wicked i have stayed with people in the ministry i have also stayed with people even at my place of work but as long as that person is wicked i have stayed with people in the church who will never even greet you but they will call you mom they will call you they will mommy you they will daddy you but they are wicked their hearts are full of iniquity how do we know their hearts are full of iniquity how does somebody just leave your church today and tomorrow they are writing again as you on facebook that is a worker of iniquity i said that is the wicked they are workers of iniquity so that is why i came to tell men and women of god business people people that are watching me the wickedness of the wicked must stop even if today God forbid and i think i am too deep in deliverance church to ever even think of living even if i was to leave deliverance church i would never say anything evil about my father why if i was a genuine son in the ministry of deliverance and i have stayed with my father for almost 40 years i am talking about people that stayed with you in ministry for so many years if they didn't see your nakedness or if they did not see your yeah ni your your weakness for all the years then they were not even genuine people how do you see the wickedness how do you expose your nakedness of your father you are wicked i said you are wicked men of god today we are raising sons and daughters that are wicked in their hearts they are only up in the ministry either to publicize themselves either to grow themselves and to build themselves a name they are called absaloms The spirit of Absalom is so much in ministry today. The spirit of Absalom. Absalom thinks he can be able to rule and gui- guide the people in a better way. Absalom is a evil gatekeeper. He is a propagator of wickedness. He will wait for people when they are coming to see the pastor and he will tell the people, "Kaki, if I was the pastor of this church, imagine things would be running so smoothly. Are you the one who is called? The palace has only one king." So stop propagating evil at the gate. Stop standing there as an Absalom. Every spirit of Absalom in our ministries, I stop it and I delete it out of your ministry in Jesus name. Why? This wickedness must stop. May God give us genuine sons. May God give us genuine members that will number one give into our ministries without ever ever exposing us that will stand with our ministry. I am uh, I have been in ministry for quite some time now and I have seen all manner of members in churches. I have seen all manner of members in churches. I have even seen those ones that come and say, "Mimi, I was called by God to support this ministry." But immediately they walk out. They see everything bad because everything that everyone that walks away from you must see evil in you, must speak evil about you. Sons and daughters that are living ministries because it's like it's a it's a trend everywhere can you shut your mouths can you stop exposing because once a father forever a father hata ukienda upate baba mwingine wapi the genes that are in you are the original father that gave birth to you in the spirit so sons and daughters that are out there stop this wickedness i said sons and daughters that are out there that are propagating evil that are uncovering their father's nakedness on social media that are uncovering their father's nakedness out there you are just using proximity to power just because you're so close to the man of god you know his weaknesses you know how his armpit smells you can be out there you are wicked and i came to tell you on this national television stop this wickedness in jesus mighty name I said stop this wickedness or else God is going to silence you forever. I have come to tell the wickedness of the wicked it must stop in Jesus mighty name. Part of the wickedness we are going through today is a lot of shaming on social media as men of God. 
I have come to say the wickedness of the wicked must stop. Remember we have just read a psalm. And the Bible says the wicked will not even sleep. So those of you that are propagating evil everywhere in our places of work. Biashara zao zitaanguka. When do you Do you even know when, when I started it? I have come to tell you, shut up or God is going to shut you up. If you have not learned, learn from Balaam and Balak. Every witchcraft that you're firing into our ministries, I return it back to the sender. Every wickedness that you're speaking against our ministries. Because now you want to go and start your two kiosks out there. I hear one man of God calling the two small, small things they are starting out their kiosks. And you want to start a fire from that kiosk. You cannot bring down what God has put up. So I want to encourage a man of God, a woman of God listening to me. Because I listen to so many things. I was just talking to a woman of God the other day. And she told me, imagine most of my great members have left. They left you because they were not for you. They were workers of iniquity within your ministry. So I have come to say on this Oracle Television Network, the workers of iniquity in our ministry, this wickedness must stop in Jesus' mighty name. I have come to tell somebody, this wickedness must stop in Jesus' name. When I come back, with the, because this is a series I'm going to continue for some time, I want to show you another characteristic of the wicked, that they can never be pleased. We tried. Some of them, we even gave them big gifts. But if somebody is wicked on the inside, you can never please a wicked person. So stop embellishing them. Those sons that feel like they're the ones that are making the ministry stand, you can never please the wicked. If there is wickedness in them, the day they will wake up and the wickedness has matured, they will just leave you. And as they leave you, they will not leave you just like that. They will scandalize you. But I want you to know what God has called, no man can uncall. I said what God has blessed, no, no devil can curse. So just if there is wickedness in them, if there is wickedness in them, it's just waiting for a maturity time and they will, they will just leave. Now listen, I have educated people. I have done everything for people. I actually one time, I educated a certain young girl. I just got her and uh, the story is long so I don't want to do it. I mean, I don't want to give it on television. When she was just about to complete school, I told her, can you give me your mother's number? Because I never contacted the mother. Because it was a divine assignment that God gave me. I took her from the streets. And I took her back to school at the age of, I think, 23. And I realized this is a wasted destiny. And one day I told her, so that you can know there are people that are wicked. Can I have your mother's number? At least I call her, Akuje Tuonane. I called the mother. And the report I got, the answer on the other side was that, did I tell you to take my daughter to school? And I've educated her from form 1 to form 4. So you can never please the wicked. If their hearts are wicked, please, don't even try. You will never please them. I want us to stop there, but I can never get out of this television. I can never say goodbye. Before I ask you to partner with us to buy this beautiful building in Nairobi, the Oracle and Dr. Pauline are already in Nairobi. We are buying this building through the bank and we are pleading with you, forget about the wickedness of the wicked. Forget about the tanks of the wicked that are saying, I don't know what, I don't know what. I am asking you to partner with us with only 100 shillings every day. Every day say, I am either keeping my lunch, I am speaking my, skipping my dinner, I am skipping this, I am investing in that kingdom. Because as we own this building, and we are going to be through very soon, we did buy it very expensively, neither did we buy it very cheaply, but we need your help. We need you to come on board and help us this, buy this building for only 100 shillings, just 100 shillings. Every day, just uh, say, I am going to support you with 100. Some of you are saying 100 is too little for me, woman of God, because the exposure I have given you today. How did you, I mean, do you have known about the wicked? If I have blessed you in this program, just go to your phone. Just give me 100 shillings. The pay bill is on the screen. Right here on your screen is a pay bill. Please partner with us every day with 100 shillings. I want to raise a team of people, uh, uh, I mean, a battalion in Kenya that will support because Oracle Television Network, I am telling you, it is loved. So there is no, I mean, manner of intimidation of talks that will make you 
bring the, the oracle down so those of you that love the oracle and you love the oracle television and you say this television is a blessing to me kagana kamwe just a hundred bob 100 bob 100 bob just put it on the pedal along with other people in the whole of this republic helping us so far we have seen the faithfulness of god we are not paying little money every month, but I am saying with your 100 shillings and 100 shillings from somebody else in the diaspora and everywhere, we are going to make it because together we grow. And I want to assure you, as you partner with us, may the Lord remember you. May the Lord make you an owner of your own building and your own place. You will not be a tenant forever. I release the blessings of God as you partner with us in the name of Jesus. Keep following this series. It's a very powerful series. By the time I am finishing this series, I am going to be talking about household wickedness. When they conspire against you, it is the highest form of witchcraft. I'm telling you, household wickedness. So do not miss even one series that I have started today. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you and keep it the Oracle Television Network. Tell a friend to tell a friend about the Oracle Television Network and also tell a friend to tell a friend to support us with only 100 shillings in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Till we see you next time. It is Dr. Pauline Oracle saying, Toos. Bye. <laughs>